Everything's spinning now. Cast a spell. Hmm. The idea is that Kane's empire has been around for centuries at this point, so advances have been made. Mostly because he used the smoke from titanic efforts of industry to dim the sun. Oh, you know, that makes sense. Oh, wait, here's a lever. That makes sense. He doesn't like the sun, so... Just, just block it out. Smokestacks. And that's why everything has turned to decay. You know, that, that makes sense. I'm just moving up in a straight line, by the way. He just, like, moves automatically according to wherever he wants to be. That is a locked door. This one's pretty clear you can move this because it's the same color and has the same pattern on the block. Oh. Bang! What did that do? I can still move this. I feel like I should. I can't go back though. So what, what did burning that pillar do? I burnt one pillar on the floor. Maybe I need to like go all the way back up and see if the elevator will come all the way down. Oh no, there's more, there's more of them. Seemed like a little odd. Does anyone know like what the like the inspiration was for Legacy of King? Like other than obviously just vampires. Like, was there any, like, specific source material that they looked at for, for inspiration of this universe? And that last, that last column, or arch beam, whatever you call these things, that last beam is holding up pretty well under <laughs> all that weight. Yeah, I like how he jabs his, his little claw hands to the block. Okay, what, what is my goal here?
just get them on each one. This is reminding me of <laughs> that one kind of, not like a block puzzle, but like those things where they would have them in like pizza huts and like, I guess like children's like dental offices and things like that, where you could like move the little pegs around on tracks. Like you could move different ones like out of the way. I'm supposed to like put them on the inner side? Or what's going on here? I actually can't get it on this block. According to the wiki, the Necroscope novels in Wheel of Time series had some influence. They're mostly a matter of like atmosphere. Okay. Do I need to like push them all the way to like the end of the track? Some of them have like ends of the tracks and some of them don't. I'm not sure if I need to have them like next to the pillars. What I'm thinking maybe next to the pillars. A necroscope I haven't heard of, but I mean, I mean, sounds sounds like necromancy. It sounds something about like dead people probably. just have to put... Well, no, I can't put all these in the same time. I'm unclear, like, where on this design they need to be. So I would think that you would have to put them, like, in the middle of these, but you can't. And I couldn't even slide it to, like, the right of this one. Now I can. Well, there we go. It wouldn't let me do that before. I kept trying to slide it, but the camera angle was just like, no. <laughs> you can only go up or down and specifically left on this one part it matches in with the, the inner block there i'll have to look up that one we did something <laughs> did, did that unlock the door somehow Oh, it did. Well, this seems ominous. Before we go in there, let me look up what, what is Necroscope? Search. Necroscope. Um, a series of horror novels by British author Brian Lumley. The term necroscope, as defined in the series, describes someone who can communicate with the dead, going dead speak later in the series. Unlike necromancers, who here extract the knowledge they seek by brutal eviscerations of corpses, a necroscope can communicate, ugh, can communicate with them as equals, peacefully and without any physical interference. They're like a type of ESP. Oh. Okay. And there's 16 novels, oh my. One of which has the Mobius murders. Ooh. I've heard of Mobius stuff before. There's a lot of them. But the actual, okay, so there's like a necroscope series, like, I don't, I don't know what you call it. Like they have like multiple series within the series that I assume are like arcs. So they have like the necroscope series, it's five novels. Then they have the Vampire World series, the Lost Years, the E Branch, and just a bunch of them. Huh. I'll have to keep that one in mind for later. Under the books, I don't know where that is. 
I can't find it. Where 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 is my books? Well, we'll just throw it over here for now. Blood Omen was a lot of more generic dark fantasy, medieval stylings, wizards and knights. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I gathered from it. Like Kane was cool, but the rest of it was just kind of. This one seems a lot more unique. Fletch, fleshed out. Fledged out is what I was going to say. Wing jokes. <laughs> I think I need to turn the music up. Oh. Ship. <laughs> so... Something I've noticed is sometimes the dialogue doesn't work <laughs> or the sounds don't work. No, Kaya. Yes, brother. You should have stayed where the master sent you, Raziel. You will find Nosgoth less pleasant than you remember. What has become of my clan? Answer me, little brother, or I will beat an answer from your horrid lips. Everyone is afraid, sibling. You awake to a world of fear. These times of change are so... unsettling. Do you think I feel no revulsion for this form? Do you believe for a moment that our Lord would risk his empire upon an upstart inheritance? Enough riddles. What are you saying? You are the last. T T oh no, it, it didn't work. So I, I've noticed occasionally, like the voice lines just kind of like fail to work. <laughs> so I should probably save. Hey look, Soul Reaver too. Um, sometimes the, vo the voice lines just kind of like cut out and I don't know if that's like an emulator issue or what. But sometimes they'll work on like the same scene if you like reload it. Sometimes they just don't. But I should probably be making more safe states <laughs> just for safety in case things ever happen, you know? What if vampires were just a lump of flesh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah! he, he over there. There must be something over here I can do. Yeah, we, we may miss some bits because... <laughs> uh... Well, I can just swing on here all day. Doesn't seem to be working. He can't hit me back here. Hmm. Vampires were a pile of secrets. No, that's humans. That doesn't work. Oof. Ouch. Oh, he can still hit me in the spirit world, too. Is there anything different around here? Here's a thing. Come here. Come to Papa. Come on. I need you. Well, that's a problem. Like, I can't- you can't interact with anything in the spirit world, because it's lame. I guess I just have to wait. <laughs> Oops, he's covered in goo. Can't just suck him up though. Oh my gosh, he deals a lot of damage. What am I supposed to do then? Just like sit around? He went in the middle. I didn't. I didn't realize he could just face through the <laughs> through the wall. Well, this is something. He 
There's no more. I can't. I can't do anything. Okay, I'm gonna have to scroll. I'll, I'll read your guys' stuff while I wander around in a circle and wait for my health to go back up. <laughs> Okay, um, I have not played Blood Omen, no. I watched some of it, though. Yeah, Blood Omen doesn't see. it seems like it's aimed like a particular type of people who like a certain genre, we'll say that. Didn't seem like it would be very fun to play for me, personally. The main thing about it being that there were a set of pillars that were bound to important principles of the nature of reality also had bound guardians. The guardians went mad after one of them was murdered, but I mean, I would get mad too. Cain was murdered and resurrected as a vampire and told the circle of guardians was responsible for his murder, so he just goes and kills them all. He goes through time travel and a paradox thanks to wielding the Soul Reaver sword in the present against someone else wielding it in the past. Basically, at the end of it, Cain is the last remaining pillar guardian and had been from birth, the guardian of balance. Oops. He was faced with the choice of killing himself and letting a new circle of guardians arise, untainted by their collective madness, or rule forever as the mad king of a dying world. And Soul Reaver's like, Cain, you fool, you should have died as a martyr. <laughs> All right, our health is back up. Look, we can we can do the game again. This is a very silly mechanic when they just don't put infinite respawning health everywhere. Okay, so we couldn't use that. I have a feeling we're not supposed to directly fight him. Just a feeling I have. This just like doesn't work. Oh gosh. He, he is fast for a giant blob monster. Can't get through there. And I can't get through here. Can I high jump on this? I can get in here. He can loopy through here, I guess, if he wants. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. He's too strong. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Obviously they, they have like a giant like meat grinder thing, so I like lure him in there and then I leave. But it didn't look like the thing would just work. Come here. See if it works now. Now that he's in there. No. It's like it's stuck. Yeah, you can give a hint. It could be something that I literally just can't see because my screen's so dark. <laughs> yeah, I, I would I would appreciate a hint. Oh, I can jump up here. Well, to what end? There are holes above the gates. Oh, are there? Oh, there's like, there's some like way at the top. I don't know how you can get over there though. Yeah, I, I can't, I literally couldn't see those. Just like trap them in here for a second. Like there kind of are. Here, 
apparently I just like died. <laughs> I guess your your soul just slowly gets seeped out of you if you're at low health. I didn't get hit by anything. Okay, I see this one now. Goodness. Okay, that one was so hard to see because like he's constantly moving, so like I don't really have a good chance to just look around. So I guess I'm just sitting here. Oh, and that's why I can go in here and get the souls, I see. Yeah, she might be able to get in here. Okay, that makes more sense. Like, I was like, why are they just blocked behind the wall? Like, I, it's so hard to see any of these things because the game's just very dark. <laughs> barely see that because it just matches the ball texture behind it almost. They're all just brown gray. Come here. Aha, got him. Is that like a one-time deal? It would like. Oh, this one does not have any. This one, forget this one. Fool him once, shame on him. Fool him twice. He's a little dumb for falling for it twice. Come here, buddy. I know you want to. This is such a gimmick fight, it sure is. No, he was smart, no! <laughs> he didn't fall for it. Get him in there. He just kind of like rematerialized there before. There we go. <laughs> and suddenly, <laughs> the mechanisms for the gate are loose. How convenient. I hope he stays in there long enough. Tell me, Melkiah, where can I find Cain? The master is beyond your reach, Raziel. He makes himself known when he sees fit, not when commanded. turn into a rain of confetti. Can you feel the edge? I certainly think he felt it. <gasps> uh. <laughs> so powerful, the frame rate dropped to 20. You have done well, Raziel. Am I reduced to this? A ghoul? A fratricide. Elevated, Raziel, not reduced. Consuming Melkiah's soul has endowed you with a new gift. Insubstantial barriers such as these are no impediment to you in the spectral realm. Will yourself to pass through, and you shall. Hey! <laughs> Which robot master's next? 